Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change some of your controller settings on Steam. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So using this method, we're going to be able to enable and disable some controllers and change a couple things. So the first thing I need to do is, of course, have your Steam opened up. Once your Steam is opened up, we're going to be coming up to the top left of our Steam. We're going to be clicking on the Steam option right here, and we're going to be clicking on our settings. Once your settings opens up, we're going to be coming to the left overview tab right here, and we're going to be clicking on our controller option right here. Once this opens up, we'll have a couple of different options. The first thing we're going to be looking at is general controller settings right here. If we click this open here, we'll have some basic controller settings for our Steam, and it basically allows us to enable and disable some basic controller configuration support. So by default, a lot of these settings might not be enabled, but you can feel free to come in here and enable and disable any of these options depending on the controller you want to set up. What's nice is you can also enable Xbox extended feature support. So if you select to enable this, you will also need the Xbox driver installation and it will actually require a restart for this. I'm going to be doing this later. So this is one thing you can do is you can come in here, click and enable all of these different controller settings right here. If we close this down, we can go back out here. We can also go to big picture configuration. We have desktop configuration and we have guide button cord configuration. So I will mention to experiment or look at any of these settings. You will need to have a controller connected right now. So if you don't already have a controller connected to your Steam right now at the moment, I'd recommend connecting one right now. So currently I have an Xbox Series controller connected. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is big picture configuration right here. If we select this open, we'll be able to determine what each of our buttons or cluster of buttons will do inside of our big picture mode. We can also do this by different configurations, including web browser, select mouse position, on screen keyboard and we can even add different action layers as well so i'm going to be going back to my default to change any of these configurations what we can do is select on it we can actually determine a full pull action and a soft pull action so depending on how much of the trigger you pull back can actually be different things if you want to select a different action you can come in here and here you can select any of these different options skip forward move up down etc and you have a number of different things here you can play around with we can even toggle multi button on you can show activators, legacy keys, and you can do a bunch of different things. And you can really customize this to make big picture exactly what you want with the controller you're using. If we close back out of here, we can then go to desktop configuration. If we select this open, we will then be brought to a similar UI. And you can see a lot of this is actually disabled at the moment. That's because by default, it doesn't actually support a lot of controller inputs in the desktop UI on Steam. However, you can feel free to come in here and experiment and change anything. You can select different bindings to be different keyboard shortcuts to include the F row, take screenshots and a number of different things. So you can really customize this to set it up. So you can really use a controller to navigate through your normal Steam layout, just as you would in big picture, except you have all the benefits of using the full Steam layout here, which is definitely a nice to have. So by default, this will be disabled. However, changing any of these things here will allow you to customize it and set it up exactly how you want. And then finally, our last button here, guide button cord configuration. If we select this open, we will then be brought to a similar UI again. And here we can select the different guide button settings for our tracks. So you can actually include volume up, volume down, previous and next track, turn off your controller and a bunch of different things. Of course, you can come in here and customize anything you want here as well, which is definitely a nice to have. So by using a combination of all of these, you can really customize and set up your controller settings however you want. And of course, you can also disable controller connected notifications in your desktop client. This can be a nice to have. It can be a little bit annoying if they're always popping up on the bottom right. However, you can feel free to turn this on or off however you would like. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to set up, customize and change your different controller settings in Steam. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.